Jaden Miller on the forecast singled him out for his one to watch and back come the Flames dropped inside and they score first it's Ryan Hughes it's his first year pro out of U Sports Canada University of Alberta and he gets the Flames on the board on the power play with a nice curl and drag and snipe pass Evan Bendiger in that well, you did bring up the transition and the entrance into the zones and the speed in which this Guildford team have, and they've shown that here. Breaking in and entering really, really quickly, giving the Storm not a lot of time to defend this and to think about it. Quickly through neutral ice. Got a man strickling to the front of the net. It's strickled in behind, running it for number two. It might be a credit to Tugnut. Not sure who the player was driving the front of the net. May have gone off their skate, may have gone off the defender's skate. Either way, it's in behind Wenninger for number two. With 11-12 left to play in the first period. And there's a lesson on where to put the puck if you're unsure. Get it to the front of the crease and, like you like to say, by committee it just might go in. And Side. Send it ahead for Martin. Don't think he was ready for it. Flames turn back over. Quick shot, and it's in for number three. Eighteen oh one to play in the second period, and it's three for the Guildford Flames. Three unanswered. Quick turnover at the line, and a quick snipe. As we were saying again, another defensive push-up, and they lose sight of it. It goes behind them, and now they're backpedaling. The turnover. Ends in over the line, pass across. Shot, looking for a tip. Loose down the back of the goal, comes out to the blue line. Alon steps in through traffic. And just as the power play was about to end, Flames capitalise at 3-10 to go in the second period. And they make it four. This puck squirting free. And the pass back out in front. Lalonde steps to it, goes right down Main Street. And shoots glove side and pass Weddinger. And with no timeout left to go in this game. Matt Ginn took it early on in this second period. Flames holding the zone, changing personnel as well. Send it back to the line, come across, quick shot up in the air. When he doesn't know where it is, now finds it right in front of him. Still bouncing and loose. When is he down now? And Tate finds the back of the goal, makes it five. He's 17 52. Still to play in the third period. Good defensive work that we saw through the first two periods. Kind of all fell apart. The puck never really seemed to fall for the Storm in that sequence. Once again, that he is still in this fight. He's such a competitor out there. And against anybody was the top goal scorer for the Flames, Peter Cronella. Vernon plays the puck up, gives it away to Trombley. Right to the middle, Martin. This is the back of the net! Mitchell Martin gets the storm up off the deck. Well, it's consolation, but it's also momentum. Any goals that they will take from this game to go into the next one, it's a big, big goal there. Martin coming up with the numbers. He's famous this season for actually getting assists, but with just six goals on the season, he's got a big one there for his seventh. They'll take anything they can get out of this third period. Has struggled with injuries, but since coming back has been a spark of energy for the Storm. We're back underway. 